And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Rank Up Friday stream. We're going to be playing three uh, good Rank Up decks. We're going to start with Twisted Gangplank and then Zillion Echo. Two decks that we have somewhat recently gone 5-0 with uh, in, the, in the last couple of weeks. So we're going to go ahead and replay those. See if we can continue the success that we've had with both of those decks. And then I have a newer Victor Heimer uh, Glorious Evolution build uh, that we kind of worked on yesterday that we'll be playing after that. But first, this is, you know, just a, a good meta deck, right? Like both both this and Zillion Echo are, are pretty good meta decks. Uh, Twisted Gangplank, this was a list just from online from Mobilytics uh, that ended up working out well last time that we played it. Like we said, it went 5-0. Um, you know, it's just going to be aggressive, getting in all the chip shot damage you can and finishing the game with some you know with like gangplank attacking or some different burn spells like double up dreadway double in all the damage or even just some pup caps from lecturing yordle right like it just gets in a lot of very cheap uh damage and it's very efficient deck really low curve lots of ones and twos and then some powerful champions at the top end some people ask what's twisted fate doing in here but twisted fate's just awesome it just can do a lot of different stuff with the destiny card it's just you know Every game's different that you play, and so sometimes you, you need a stun, sometimes you need uh, to draw some cards, but mostly the red card is going to be the, the best thing that we have in here, because that's going to do Nexus damage and also help uh, do a lot of damage to different enemies and help our Make It Rains and Pokey Sticks and stuff like that um, be able to finish off units. The red card's particularly powerful with a Powder Keg, and so Dreadway Deckhand summoning a Powder Keg or Gangplank summoning a Powder Keg and then red card being able to do two to everything is really, really good. So that's what we're going to try to do. Sorry. Um, let's go play in ranked. We're going to be playing our five games over there. So we're in uh, Diamond 3 right now. We'll see if we can get to Masters before the reset next week. Good morning, Tali Zoo. Uh, what do we have? We have Timo Swain. So very similar style, like we're both Bandal City, both having like some different burn stuff. So very similar style of deck. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Gangplank. I think Gangplank's real strong. Don't love a second one. But we had the attack tokens on rounds one, three, five. Um, so you know, having the attack token round five, dropping Gangplank attacking, usually pretty good. Okay, well, I guess <laughs> our deck did not want us to have the other um, you know, like anything else to curve out. Hmm. So it looks... I mean, it looks like I won't even be able to play anything next round. And we have such a mirror match that we got the same card back. Astounding curiosity fly ahead. Okay, that gives me something to play. Easy does it. Persistence is key. Alright, I'm gonna try to take out Teemo. They could have the Purple Berry Shake from that Conchologist. One mana grow something to be a 3 3. No. I could also wait and, you know, red card and then play that afterwards, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play that right now. Alright, so our Gangplank's at 3. Maybe I should have waited. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So they've already taken Nexus damage this round, haven't they? Okay. Alright, still. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Cause this could have taken down Teemo also. So I could just have a parlay. Something for all. So they have a lot of creative cards over there. They've played two Loping Telescopes and a Conchologist. Whoa, got a raid! Nimuel with the raid. Welcome everybody from Nimuel's stream. We are kind of having like a little bit of a rank update today. We're playing a couple of meta decks. 
with you got the the schedule up here with Twisted Gangplank and then Zillion Echo, a homemade <laughs> Victor Heimer Glorious Evolution deck after that. Yeah, so how do you choose what decks to go with on ranked days? Just kind of, I, you know, I just kind of play whatever, really. I don't have any specific, um, you know, formula that I choose. But recently we have played this Twisted Gangplank and Zillion Echo decks and went 5-0 with them. And so I wanted to go, yeah, I wanted to get back to them and play them again before the next expansion came out. Yeah, Pantheon, yeah, seeing the new cards, yes. Pantheon looks really strong. It looks like they're just making, like, a better Victor. Um, again, <laughs> you know, they like they like doing that. They like, they like making better Victors. There's the, the Vandal City, you know, one with the landmarks, the 8-mana one, and now Pantheon. You know, Pantheon and Taric definitely look like they go right together, being in Targon. Um, but it's, so it's kind of odd that they, they printed two champions that they, you know, so, like, they're like, okay, we're going to play... We're going to print Pantheon that's going to be um, some more support for Taric and everything. And, you know, like, you want to play those two together. But then they also just made Pantheon four mana, just like how Taric's four mana. That's that's kind of odd. I'm surprised it's not three or five, you know, just at a different spot on the curve. Yeah, instead of buffing Victor, we'll just make new ones. You concerns, do you? All right, so it looks like Ravenous Flock. This does mean I have no more Gangplanks. But I'm hoping to do like five damage with these things. That'll put him down to six. And then, you know, maybe if we can double up and get four with there, then we only have to, you know, figure out how to do two more damage. You know, maybe another impact attack, a warning shot. You know, that can get to be two more damage to finish them out. Because we're still at 19, and they got nothing on the board. So this, yeah, I said the stats are kind of meh uh, for Pantheon. And that's somewhat true. Like, to start with, the, the stats are meh. But remember, it has that new keyword, um, whatever it's called. Like, where it grows by getting the plus one, plus one. And so with that new keyword, those stats, yeah, you know, like it will get big fast, and you know it has overwhelm. It's it's gonna play a lot bigger than what it looks. You know, it's not gonna be like Echo that's gonna stay at like two health. You know, you play it, you play like a pale cascade on it. You know, it gets that permanent plus one plus one bonus. It'll grow. All right, so good play by them to stay alive. So they still have the two cards from Loping Telescope that we don't know about. And I'm not sure if we saw the Conchologist card. Or, you know, I don't know if one of those Ravenous Flocks was a Conchologist Ravenous Flock or not. One loping telescope card. Wow, four puff caps on that card? There's like one puff cap every three cards. <laughs> we got four on that one. We're so close to killing them. All right, so our last, what, three draws, four draws? Our last four draws have been like one drop, warning shot, one drop. There we go. 
Yeah, just been like one drop warning shot, one drop, and Mirai Warden. So just so much very, very small stuff. So I figured we were due for something a little bit bigger. They don't have any puff caps over there right now. So they're in a lot of trouble. You know, they have to... Like, they're essentially at one with me having this poison dart. They have to stop the impact attack. They have to stop the Yordle, the Electrian Yordle from attacking. And then they also have to worry about this Scrappy Bomb countdown at round start. So, I don't know how they deal with all that. I don't know how they deal with, you know, we essentially have three lethal threats right here. Yep, and they can't. Alright, one to know. Poppy Z. This is definitely a good Twisted Fate matchup. So, Alright, well this is just a good hand. The thing about Electric Yordle and Twisted Fate is they're both very good in this matchup, but they both cost 4 mana. So I really hope... I think I'm going to just keep all this though, but I really hope that we find something else to play the first 3 rounds. You know, your first 3 rounds you get 6 mana total. You know, 1 plus 2 plus 3, so 6 mana total. And right now, we only have the ability to spend 4 of that 6 mana with a Mega Rain and a Mirai Warden. Um, saving two spell mana is not the worst, though, because we can play Lecturing Yordle on four and have the Poison Dart to play on four. Hey, hey, Nate Dog. Happy Friday. Okay, so Mirai Warden, that finishes out our six mana. Now, while I like our hand, it's not... Like, we're necessarily... Wow, that's... That's some good luck right there. It's not that we're necessarily going to win, because, you know, like... Like, one Zed plus a bunch of protection for the Zed... Is something that's really hard to... Handle. Man, what is the deal with this? Take that. Deal me in. Could be a little bit more patient and pass, but I don't feel like I need to. Yeah. Is that a big deal if Zed levels up? I don't know. Definitely wish I had one more mana here, right? So I could play two poison darts. For double up, I could play like Crackshot Corsair as another blocker, or just play Gangplank as another blocker. Let's get it, crew. They follow the wrong master. They don't have the mana to rally. You're bluffing. Touch in my sights. Okay, well that will work. And GG's, we are 2 and 0. Oh.
Yeah, doing the rank up today to kind of make up for yesterday, right? Like, this was our plan yesterday was to play these three decks, but then uh, we had problems with the stream and things like that, and so just doing it today now. So Pompey Ziggs Teemo, very aggressive deck. I like the Dreadweight deck can make it rain. That's a good start. I guess we just keep Twisted Fate. You know, I was thinking about you know whether or not we mulligan Twisted Fate, but Twisted Fate's like one of those kind of cards that it's always good to have. Stacking stones. Won't get past me. Everything's in place. Damn it. Packed him good. Lecturing Yordle. Lecturing Yordle card is so good. Yeah, I saw the new champion. Yeah, Pantheon. Um, it looks really good. It really does. You know, like it's it's very easy to target, and so it's it's overwhelm. It's going to be very large. Um, it looks like a really good champion. They're gonna have so many of these poison darts. Why is this lecturing your little card so good? I don't want them to have three poison darts. Guess they're only gonna get two. You know, this will keep them from getting three. Man, lecturing your little's good. You got legs. Use them. <laughs> yep. So yeah, right. It's just making better victors. Really hope they buff Victor. I want the the buff that I want for victors. I want the hexcore upgrades to just add keywords to victors everywhere. That's the buff I want to see. All right. I like seeing, you know, I like getting that out of their hand, right? Whenever we're holding the double up. It's definitely good to get that out of their hand. I don't know, considering trading. Explosives primed. Make Hexcore a burst spell. No, you can't really make it a burst spell. Because then you can respond, you can't, you know, you can't make that burst. You could maybe make it focus. You can't make it burst. You can't let people, you know, you can't let somebody, like, try to vengeance your your victor, and then you respond by playing Hexcore upgrade and hit Spell Shield. It can't, it can't be a burst spell. Hey, what's up, Broccoli Sniper? You know, you can't, you can't play that, that during combat and things like that. Go and do this right now. Hopefully it works before cool. Wanna do that before they have the opportunity to draw another fervor. They say these were from the protector himself. Yep. And that's lethal. Alright, GG's.
We are three and O oh with Twisted Gangplank. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the next time we're gonna get a buffs and nerfs is January. And I know that like I I expect I think lecturing Yordle is definitely getting nerfed. I think this is like a like a hundred percent nerf. Or obviously nothing's hundred percent. So like a ninety five percent chance that this is getting nerfed. Uh, in January, and I think that Poppy, Vandal City Mayor, Loping Telescope, like those cards, I think there's a, a decent chance there's going to be some nerfs with all of them. So, Callista Viego. Callista Viego. So, I'm thinking that this is probably going to be like a Mistwraith deck. That's what I'm kind of thinking here. Maybe some Mistwraiths. And so, like, if that's the case, like, Powder Keg plus Parlay could kill a Mistwraith. Fading Icon. Huh. Hello, new best friend. So, it could just. I was thinking about, like, just make it rain there. Actually, let's go and Parlay. Let's, let's get one point of damage in on the Nexus right now. All right, so the good thing here is that we get the, the two bodies, so it grows the sparring student to be a 3-3. Three, three. That's pretty cool. Mm. That's a great card right there. Camelot and Soldier is so good. Y'all know what I think of Viego. I, I think Viego is one of the very best champions and stuff. I think very highly of Diego. We shall Hope they don't have Isle Feast. Or Twin Disciplines. Or Syncopation. Syncopation. They still take five. I want to play the Make It Rain, because like the Make It Rain clears this thing out, gets one damage on the Callista, which helps out my double up here on getting one damage on the Callista. Because the Callista is definitely the card that I'm more scared of right now than Camelborn Soldier. Okay, so kind of glad I didn't. Like, the Callista is the scary card for sure. So, hoping to kill Callista. Yeah. So that worked out perfectly. That was the perfect Mega Rain. Because it not only you know got rid of the barrier for the Callista, but then it also didn't kill the 3-1 so that Callista didn't level up, so that Callista didn't stay alive. That was the perfect Mega Rain.
Are they going to have Atrocity? I guess Atrocity is possible. They haven't shown to have Twin Disciplines at all, right? Because like, if they had Twin Disciplines, they would have just saved uh, the last round with Twin Disciplines. But they haven't shown to have it at all. But still, with that being said... Four out of five. The whole world will know my anguish. Surrender to me. Wow, that hurts. That hurts. Yeah, you know, that keeps on getting played for leveling up. Oh, that was a great Notify. Good, good round here. Viego plus hard removal spell plus Notify. Wow, yeah, that was a that was a good round for them. Okay, so how much damage can I deal? Attacking does one, two, three, four. You cannot win. Good job, Boo Bro. Got the iron, way to go. Water is mine and mine alone. Oh, Dragon Butcher? <sighs> the only good thing about Dragon Butcher is that it can block Fearsome, but that's, you know, obviously one of the worst draws. Oh, and then they had Lifesteal Unit? Wow, these last few cards they've had have been insane. So now Viega levels up. And then Withering Mist? Okay, yeah. Wow. Talk about the perfect, you know, last two, ra last two rounds for them, so GG's. Yeah, it's gotta be. I'm talking, I think. I don't hardly ever see Viego lose. Man, that was awesome. Alright, so Sejuani Gangplank, we're definitely getting rid of those. And let's get rid of the Dreadway Deckhand also. Yeah, he's so powerful. We're just talking between games. I think I'm pretty sure if I had to pick out one one champion that's like my lowest win rate against, it's Viego. Because I usually, like, this isn't necessarily it, but I usually play, like, mid-range decks. And Viego's really hard to beat with a mid-range deck. But especially with a hand like that, man. Because they had two Camelborn Soldiers, curving out well with, and the Callista that we had to deal with. It's a good interaction, good Hydrovine. Good game. Yep, absolutely could have opened and attacked whenever I had the Dreadway instead of setting up the uh, Stone Stackers, all that kind of stuff like it did. I've never met anyone like you. An Elusive? So I can't just kill the Crackshot Corsair and keep them from dealing damage to my Nexus this round because they have the Elusive. <laughs> yeah, there's not too good of chances to hit a one mana elusive. There's what that and uh, the Navori Blade Scout. Something for Those are the only ones I can think of. Nice. 
very good quality hand again, you know, like four rounds, they're at four out of five. I don't imagine this is going to go very well for me. Yeah, good card in them. So now they're just going to be five out of five. Easy. It's only at three. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. So that helps out my hidden pathways. The problem with Twisted Fate red card, that is an option. The problem with that option is, you know, they play Sejuani or Gangplank next round. I would really like to stun that before it attacks me. I don't like... I don't really like playing anything, and then they play a Gangplank at end round, and then the Gangplank... Yeah, see, like, that's... They were just holding that, so, like, they wanted me to, like, do something. And, like, do a little bit of attacking, and then they play the Gangplank. Oh man, this is tough. So we can either open attack or you know, play level up gangplank. The only the only downside of playing level up gangplank is Sejuani. You know, it, it enables them to play Sejuani and frostbite my whole team. But even if that's the case, we still do like two to their stuff. Like even like worst case scenario, we're doing two to their stuff. Which if I just open attack, you know, like we could potentially be doing more damage with an open attack. Like they block one thing, take four. So really hoping no such wani. Okay. Uh, that's not a such wani, so that's good. And yeah, double up is not very likely to work. Ooh. Okay, okay. There we go. Boom. Take that nice four and one. GG's. Okay, nothing wrong with a four and one. Good way to start our little rank up day. This deck's just pretty quality, and a card like Double Up is a card that you know I don't really have very high expectations for. But just the last two times we've played the deck, it's really performed well. Uh, even though it, you know, five mana deal two to begin with, um, you know, it's pretty easy to disrupt. But we've been uh, having some good success with it. Mirai Warden has just been an all-star. This card is so good, getting that random one-cost follower. We've seen some really good one-cost followers. You know, like, we got Chip, which is pretty awesome. Our opponent got an elusive. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, it does its thing again. So there we go. Another uh, good, successful try with Twisted Gangplank. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know how the deck is working for you, how you like the deck. Um, you know, any other decks that you're trying out, uh, you know, got any uh, comments about the new cards, anything like that, let us know over on YouTube. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.